a gift from Poland sent for our entertainment by Michal. I think I pronounced that correctly. It's the Polish equivalent of Michael. And it's pronounced uh, Michal, but spelt M-I-C-H-A-L. And he sent quite a few items for our amusement. Uh, and lots and lots of candy. And by lots and lots of candy, I mean nine pounds of candy. The postage on the candy alone must have been absolutely astronomical. And he sent us quite a few gadgets as well. They'll be featured in a few videos over the next uh, period of time. So uh, this one, does it come with... Oh, it does come with batteries. That's nice. So uh, this one is a nice and simple cob light. Straight on and off. Uh, I'm guessing, does this... Clip come, no, it doesn't come off. Uh, freestanding, yep, yeah, uh huh. Right, so let's uh, investigate this further. It appears to have six LEDs, probably wired in parallel in here. And I'm guessing the back must on the screw, it seems really tight. Oh, there we go. It's got some shitty zinc chloride batteries in it, the sort that leak all over the place. It is otherwise quite tightly sealed, but look at it. It looks as though this might be quite destructive to open, but uh, that's okay. I wonder if the front comes off. Let's uh, try and get this apart. I was kind of hoping the sides were just going to pop off, but uh, I don't think they're going to pop off that easily. I like the fact the switch is in the side in the sort of pivot. So let's uh, gouge a screwdriver into this and try and open it in some way. Is it going to open this way? I think it may actually open from the front. Ooh, that's it. That's promising. Oh, that's even better. Ooh, I like the LED. And I like the big resistor. The big resistor is pushed up against the side of the plastic casing, but that's a mere technicality. It's not very complex. This is a good thing. It's got this uh, cob LED here with the gel front with the phosphor in it. It's got... Oh, tell you what. Let's bring it up close and take a closer look. That's better. So we've got the, a standard clicky switch here with quite a long shaft going out to the, uh, the uh, pivot here. We've got a resistor here which has the colour code. Oh, that's quite a hard to read colour code. Red, red, gold. Red, red, gold. That's it. It's three, three bands. So that's 2.2 ohms, isn't it? Um, and this array of, of parallel LEDs. Now that means... Uh, let's, let's see if we can measure... Actually, I'm, I'm just... Beating about the bush here if I'm trying to measure this because we already know that it's quite hard measuring low value resistances with generic meters. Uh, but let's stick this to the 200 ohm uh, position. I would null out the leads. The leads are already about 1.8 ohms, let's say about 2 ohms. So as long as I get somewhere around about the 4 ohm mark, then I'm correct. If I don't, then I'm very, very wrong. That'll do. Yeah, it's 2.2 ohms. That's just absolutely fine. So, um, oh, a slight avalanche here because I've, I've just uh, I've put so much stuff here. I really need to have a tidy up, you know. But yeah, this is a nice construction. I do like this because, uh, well, let's uh, bring the focus back down to where we're actually needing it. It's a, a nice sensible arrangement. It's got the aluminium bat cob. Um, it's got a nice chunky resistor. It's got a fairly chunky switch as well that's quite well seated in. Um, the only downside of these things is they use AAA batteries, which don't have a high energy density. And the ones that come with it, you want to change them out for alkaline because uh, these ones have not only got a low capacity, but they, they're the ones that tend to leak. But they're, they're the ones that people always supply with these products. So uh, first thing from Michal, that's that's quite interesting. That is quite a nice little light. Um, but um, yeah, it's... Simple and smart. So now it's back together, and it went together very easily, just as easily as it came apart. Uh, let's uh, do some tests in it. So this is uh, it running with about 3.6 volts across uh, to emulate a set of nicometohydride cells, and it's running at about 300 milliamps. I'm just going to zoom in here. Hold on a second. This is digital zoom away. That's going to annoy the aficionados a wee bit, but it's... Uh, not a very detailed image that we need here, so digital zoom is just fine. So uh, about 300 milliamps, which represents 50 milliamps per LED chip. If I turn that up until the voltage is at the equivalent of fresh alkaline cells of 4.5 volts, then the voltage goes up to 100 milliamps per chip. But to be honest, I think with the uh, standard cells, the voltage would be dropping off at that point. And it would make sense to be using this with uh, nicometal hydride cells. So um, at 3.6 volts, 
Um, 330 milliamps. Um, it's uh, about equivalent of, say, a one watt output, really, which is quite usable. That's actually quite a acceptable intensity. So yeah, it's a nice little light. It's a very functional little work light. It's very useful indeed.